Next question is from at the Disco Heat. I love me some disco. What are your impressions of Australia and its culture and people? That's a trick question because I can, of course, answer anything bad, but I wouldn't want to. I have actually never been to Australia. This is the first time here in uh, Melbourne. And I've been surprised by just how incredibly cheerful, chill, and friendly everyone has been. They just seem to be having a really good time living their life here in Australia. And I actually don't want to go. But, uh, well, I hope I get to see a little bit more of the city uh, this week as well. <laughs> Azir, Emperor of Jurima. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Chief's top laner, Swiper. And make an impact in the fight. Swiper, they're going to join it onto the mid lane. Wow. Hailstorm is down the ult nice. from Swiper, and he picks up the kill with the taunt. Yeah, check out his stream. What's your stream, man? What's your stream? Twitch.tv slash Swiper. Yeah. Like my username. Yeah. With an extra ult. Yeah. I'll put it like under here. There we go. <laughs> History of Oceania. The competitive scene continued to develop in 2014 with the introduction of a professional fuck it. So what you guys don't know is that we're just up there. You see that? The right side. I already did the, right the I already did the robot on stream, so I don't know if you guys saw that. It's just because we saw the tracker snipe be picked up in this game, and literally all he did in the early game was farm his jungle, and once he'd run out of uh, camps to farm, he just went into the enemy jungle and took that as well. So I actually really liked the pickup here because he knew that his solo lanes were so comforted by themselves. He didn't need to go skirmish. He didn't need to carry. Well, it was very circumstantial though because. <laughs> Yamato Cannon, in Australia. Yeah, man. Say hello to my fans. There's 200,000 of them. What's up, Disco Heat fans? How you doing? Yeah, there we go. How you finding Australia? It's perfect for me. I love the city, especially Melbourne, because it's so like tight knit together. Everything is close. Yeah. And it reminds me of my hometown. Yeah. The people are lovely as well because everyone's interacting with each other mm -hmm. like we are right now. So mm -hmm. It's perfect for me. Of the Oceanic team, the OPL team, what do you think of the standard? Well. The first couple of games they played, they played a lot of Kog'Maw, mm -hmm. which uh, <laughs> doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Yeah. I think there's better AD carries in the game. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was their big like kind of ball and chain that followed them mm -hmm. around in every game. Mm -hmm. If they kind of skipped mm -hmm. the Kog'Maw, I felt like they could have had more success. So mm -hmm. whoever came up with the Kog'Maw pick, mm -hmm. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, <laughs> for all the fans out there, Battlecruiser operational. Battle Cruiser Operational. Thank you, Yamada Cannon. You've been great. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I should get a lanyard, a wristband, and some clappers. Big clappers, bro. Bro, and the bag. The bag's the best part. It is the best part. Meanwhile, on Twitter. He's placing down the stuff. Oh! Just a game, man. Why you have to be mad? There you go. <laughs>